Hello, welcome in. Time to make some creme brulee, I guess. I'm gonna set up my phone for that camera. Yeah, look at that. And this app was free, so it plays a bunch of ads. But you don't see the ads, just the phone does. But if the phone is pushed up against it, then it like, it uh, presses the ad. This multicam setup is dope, thank you. This is a camera stand, like for like a regular camera that I've got on like this tripod with its legs all messed up so that it can sit really close to the counter. And I've got a, a different scene so that I can swap it when I'm over there doing shit. It's a little out of focus, but it's pretty good for being completely free. Yeah, look at all this. I'm pretty excited. Okay, I gotta get some stuff out. Gotta get my ramekins. So the recipe that I usually use online is to make six creme brulees, but I'm gonna be making seven. Got the torch. Oh, you know I got the torch, buddy. Hold on. There we go. This is gonna sit over here for now because we won't even technically use that until it's all cooled. Uh, the recipe that I usually use makes six creme brulees. And I think Bailey is looking up the recipe right now and she's gonna post it in Discord. These can technically store in the fridge for like a week or so. That being said, she's gonna post the recipe, but I'm gonna be doing a little bit like extra stuff in the recipe. So you wanna use like kind of a thicker pan to put your ramekins in. Cause you have to do something that I think is called double boiling when you're cooking it, where you have to have it suspended in water. Creme brulee is actually very easy to make. Really all you need to make creme brulee is eggs, sugar, heavy whipping cream, and you can use vanilla extract. I use vanilla extract. So you only need four things to make creme brulee. I've got my ramekins all set up. So first things first, I'm gonna switch over to that camera. So we've got heavy whipping cream. The typical recipe only calls for uh, a pint, which is just one of these little containers. But since I'm gonna be making just a little bit extra, I'm gonna use this whole container and then a little bit of that one. All right, so we just, we literally just pour it into a pot and we start to get the heat going. About like medium high. Try not to have this splatter everywhere while I'm opening it. Okay, so just, just a little bit more in there. Other than the very first time that I did this, I haven't really like measured too much. Okay, so this recipe uses a lot of sugar. Okay, so you got your tablespoon, your tablespoon, and into the milk liquid, <laughs> milk liquid, oh God. You're gonna put in six tablespoons for recipe's sake. So it's three, four, five, six. That's what you would do for the recipe normally, but since we're adding, uh, since we're making that seventh creme brulee, I'm gonna be putting just a little bit extra sugar in. Then you want that to all combine. You want that sugar to break down. I'm gonna put it actually a little bit below medium so it, cooks, it comes up a little slower. Now in a separate bowl, I'm gonna be putting in five egg yolks. Let me see if I can just tilt this down a little bit. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, I messed up. I done fucked up. What you wanna do is actually have a second bowl here so that you can put the egg yolks and the egg whites into two separate bowls. I've got a bowl here, actually. I'm doing this a little backwards right now on accident. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the egg yolks into this one and put the egg whites into here. And then I'm gonna clean this one out and then just put the egg yolks into here. That was my bad. Oh, that one separated really fast. Okay. Now we got these separated. I'm cleaning the shit out of my hands because it feels gross. And now I'm gonna wash out this bowl. You can literally just toss the egg whites aside, unless you're wanting to save them for something else. I mean, I don't make like protein smoothies or anything, but I think people do that. You know me, ever the fittest person here. What am I doing? I'm putting this in the sink. Okay, so now into this bowl, we're actually gonna be putting five tablespoons of sugar. Um, 
I have discovered that because normally the recipe is you do uh, four egg yolks and four tablespoons of sugar. So to me, that equals that, uh, that the tablespoons of sugar are equal to the number of egg yolks. So that's what I have done. Does anyone know how many scoops I have put in so far? Because I think it's five, but I don't <laughs> under or overdo it. <laughs> I'll just put like a half in there. And then that's what we'll call it. End stream so I can rewind. <laughs> so then you just want to mix the sugar and the egg yolks together. Until it's just this nice consistency. You had definitely done four. I clipped it to check. Okay, then let's just put, since we put in a half, we'll put in another half. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Bailey. Coming in clutch with the clips. Okay, so now. Is that even? Yeah, even enough. So now, over there, and turn the heat down just a little bit so it can kind of simmer. We want to add uh, some vanilla extract. Kind of just a dab will do ya, to be honest. Isn't it beautiful? It's starting to smell really good too. <laughs> so now that this is all incorporated, this is where, like, I think the most difficult part of the whole thing comes together because this portion requires patience. Really what you have to do is you have to slowly spoon this into this mixture because this is like, this is hot milk basically. And so you don't want it to like cook the egg. You want it to like incorporate and become just a solid liquid. So this is where becoming a drummer really helped me out so that I can multitask spinning this and pouring this. And now it really is smelling good because like the whole mixture is coming together. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven again. I do this literally every time I cook creme brulee. I forget to preheat the oven. You want to put the oven at 325. There will come a point that like the spoon won't be able to actually pick up any creme brulee and then that's pretty much when you're good to pour in the whole thing. You know, it probably is fine after like a couple spoonfuls, but I've done it this way every single time and it's always come out pretty good. So why deviate, you know? So this is pretty much at the point where I can't spoon it anymore. So I'm just going to fold it in. <laughs> and now this is all, oh my God, it's so hot. Um, this is our mixture. It's, it's really frothy at the top, but it's got like a nice gold color underneath that froth, but that's just cause we're whisking it around. Now, another step that I like to take that is only like suggested not like required is to get a really like thin strainer and to strain it through so that if any of your egg cooked it's gonna get caught in this and it's not gonna be actually in your mixture move this there we go look at that you can see all the cord mess Oh, I should probably put the eggs away. Has it snowed in Georgia? Um, it snowed two or three weeks ago. Then like last week, we got like probably a quarter of an inch of snow. It was like, it was a nice little tiny blanket. <laughs> oh, the oven is preheated. We are going to switch our camera. And then what we're gonna do is we're literally just going to kind of eyeball and dump this into the ramekins. I'm gonna be a little sparse at first, just to make sure that I get some in all of them. So I'm gonna do a large one last, because it doesn't feel the same. I can kind of eyeball these. Yeah, there we go. That actually worked perfectly. 
I could have used a little bit more. Like I could have put some more of the heavy cream in. But I think it's gonna be fine. And what I find fun, kind of funny is like I told you there was that froth on top. You can see it become less frothy as it goes through. It doesn't really change anything about the like texture. It's just a weird coloration that happens on the top of the <laughs> creme brulee. Okay, so now I'm gonna start the kettle. Our kettle's going. Can you, can y'all hear that? Bailey just asked how long I'm gonna bake them for. And the answer is like 40 to 43-ish minutes. It clicked. Got our kettle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of pour it in the corner here so that it doesn't spill into any of the ramekins. But you want it to fill up to like about halfway to a little more than halfway. The smaller ramekins have a kind of nice little pattern on the side that's about halfway that I like to fill them to. And that was like just enough. That was, that was beautiful. So now we want to put it into the oven. Pan might be a little hot so just be warned when you go to grab it because you did just pour boiling water into it. And you want to be a little careful when you're setting it in there because it's still pretty liquid so it's all shifting around a lot. I'm going to see if I can get this camera to be short enough to look into here while this is cooking. And let me set a timer for let's say 41 minutes. Oh yeah, look at that. That's got to cook for 41-ish minutes, and I didn't want nothing to be going on right now, so I thought that I would, while this is cooking, play like Super Auto Pets, because it's really easy on the laptop. It's a nice stove top. Thank you. It uh, came with the house. <laughs> uh, this one's, I think this is all she wrote. But that's okay, because our creme brulee is done. Are we winning, son? Oh shit, we actually did. Creme brulee looks pretty done. You want to kind of like touch it, and it's gonna make your finger's gonna leave an imprint. But if the imprint basically completely refills itself. That's how you know it's done. Do y'all see that? Look how pretty. So yeah, you want it to be like kind of tacky to the touch. And when your finger makes an imprint, you want it to immediately bounce back up. If not, then it's not good long enough. Take it to the fridge. I hope I have enough room. <laughs> I think we have just enough room. There's the creme brulee. Straight chilling. So literally at 547, we can take it out. <laughs> can you rock the ponytail? Um, a very tiny one. All right, let's see. It's a very tiny ponytail and some of the front bits don't actually get into it. Ow. Also, I haven't brushed my hair today. Come on, motherfucker. There it goes. See, very tiny ponytail. Thanks. Four hours later. Hello, we have waited it now until 5.45. We did four good hours, which is what it recommends. Looks pretty good to me. Get it like a, a glamour shot like makeup YouTubers do. Doesn't fall out or anything. <laughs> now our last step is to do what is the brulee portion. <laughs> is like baking the top of it. You can technically do this in the oven, but if you have the torch, it's way easier. I've got my sugar here. I know that it's sugar because it says sugar on it. I'm gonna tilt this down. And then you just take a spoon. You get some sugar and you put it right onto the top of it and then just kind of Spread it around. It doesn't have to be like a really thick layer. I actually like it when it's a little thinner. Now we get the torch. And now the fun part. 
Not for children. Ready? Shit. Ready? Shit. Ready? There we go. Okay. I'm not gonna put my hand near it, actually. Smokey. You wanna be careful touching the rim of it because it, the rim is really hot. The base of it's really cold from sitting in the fridge. We've got our creme brulee. I wanted to see if I had candles, but I don't think I do. This is the closest thing to a candle that I have. Ta-da! Thank you for 100 followers. I really appreciate it. You guys are great, and I'm super happy to have you here. Well, we gotta get the crack. And to you. It's very good. I wish that I could share with you guys. <laughs> Bash said he wants one for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can eat one for breakfast, bud. That birthday topper I got for um, some coworkers like over three years ago. Nice. <laughs> that is funny. Well, they, part of, one of them has been used now. Mm. It has Bailey's approval. Really good. Okay, well, I've got six more creme brulees to eat. I really appreciate everyone being here. I appreciate the follows. I appreciate the support. You guys are great. I'm coming up on a full year of being an affiliate, which is super fun, really exciting. Um, and I'm gonna do something for that. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.